Hello, my precious listeners. It's me, your old friend, Lauren Lapkus. And this right here is the two-year anniversary episode of With Special Guest, Lauren Lapkus. Thank you all for the support. The kind tweets and posts you've written have made my day over and over again, and I mean that so sincerely. And you made me feel like recording a silly podcast once a week was actually worth it, if only to brighten one person's day. Now, please enjoy the two-year anniversary episode with my friends, Paul F. Tompkins and Scott Ackerman. She's the host, but she's always a guest And the guest is the host, so she's not really the host It's a with special guest Hello, lap guest, with your host, somebody else Welcome, welcome to Generations The podcast that's about several generations of one family all doing a podcast together Talking about family things, how much we love one another Holidays, of course, and everything related to families and family things. Now that you think that's all one uh, uh, area, but it's not. There's things related to family, and then there's family things. And the, if, you, if you haven't listened to our show before, well, it'll become quite apparent as you listen. My name's Rosalie Gardenia House, and uh, I am the, the matriarch of the podcast. I'm a, I'm a grandmother, I'm happy to say. Uh, I have my, uh, my children on the show. I have my son, uh, Rogers, and, uh, and my granddaughter. <coughs> Are you all right, Grandma? Yes, I have. My gird was acting up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Holy hamburgers. <laughs> I hope you're not going to die. My grand, my gr- <laughs> That, of course, is my grand, my granddaughter, Buttercup. Oh, can I just say, Grandma, that I love you a whole lot. I know we were going to cover that a little later in the show, but I love you, Grandma. I love you. I love you. Oh, Buttercup, Buttercup please. You're, you're, you're making Grandma very wet and I, slick with kisses. I can't help it, Grandma. It's just, I love your leathery skin. I know. It's... I I tried very hard to keep a, a, a smooth complexion, but uh, unfortunately, I do love the sun. I yeah, you love to tan. I love to tan, and sometimes you tan with me, Buttercup. I do. I, I love it. I'm a uh, deep bronze right now. That's right. And uh, I know it's uh, the winter time, but that's when we go to the gym, and we just go in there to our... To our tanning beds, and we have dual tanning beds, and they let us hold hands while we do it. Our, our hands are the only things that are not tan. That's right. We have two lily white hands. <laughs> My right, your left. <laughs> that's right. And then the gym where we go tanning, mm-hmm. they've built a special uh, sort of dip in the in the edge of the tanning dip. bed. <laughs> Was that a modern song? Yeah, I was just doing the dip. <laughs> now, I love to dance, modern dance. Buttercup, of course. Did I say your age, dear? Did I tell you? You didn't. Did I did tell you, the people? Did you tell me my <laughs> age? You know your age, but of course. did I tell the audience? I'm this many. <laughs> oh, now, for, if you can't see, Buttercup, of course, is holding up 15 fingers. Yep, 15 years old. Got my period and everything. <laughs> Congratulations, yep. dear. And, of course, as always, with me is my adopted son, um... Rogers. Now, Rogers, you are uh, for the for the listener. Rogers is forty five years old. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I'm forty five. What? Yeah. And what, Ma- mom? And Rogers, Rogers, please. Rogers, so what? Forty five, mom. I'm just this. Is, what? I'm just for the listener. I'm, I'm giving them some context okay. for the generations. Now, okay. It's this is a curious thing. I know mm-hmm. that if you're a first time, <laughs> if you're a first time listener. Rogers is my adopted son, but oh. Buttercup is my blood granddaughter. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Always got to make it known I'm adopted. It's well, I'm here, but you should feel good about it, Rogers, because I chose you. Mm. Chose you for this wonderful program. And he's look. She's got to explain it. Grandma has to explain it because I you have don't. To you don't look anything it. like us. You don't look anything like us. Oh, Rogers. really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're you're five feet tall. That's right. And we're 6'5". Yes, both so of us. So height's not everything. It's not Rogers. Rogers. Oh. And we don't have a hair on our bodies because of alopecia. <laughs> Meanwhile, right. you have the longest beard I've ever seen. We're very, both very smooth and shiny. Of course, I'm wearing a delightful wig. I love my wigs, and I try to wear a different one for the podcast every time, even though it's an audio medium. Well, scissors won't cut my beard, and you all know that. <laughs> I prefer to be bald, just like Sinead O'Connor. 
You don't even know her. I know, but I heard about her in the news. She was going to commit suicide. Very oh. recently. That's how I know her. Is that what she's famous for? <laughs> I think so. Is she, a, is she an actor or something? I don't know. What's, what's the name again? Sinead O'Connor. Is that all one word? Mm, I think it's uh, two words with one. Uh, one's a contraction. Oh, canter. Now, R- Rogers and Buttercup. Let's let's catch up now. Okay. Okay. So, but so um, um, collect yourself, okay. Grandma. Coll- we love you. Oh, we love you. Oh, please, Rogers. Mom, we love you, Buttercup. Please, you kiss stop kisses. kissing her so much. I'll kiss you then. No, Roger. Get off of me, Roger. You've always spurned affections. Why? Is I don't that? like it. I love you though. <laughs> Maybe something happened to me when I was a baby that we don't know about. Probably. Well, There's- you did show up on our uh, doorstep. Not our doorstep. I mean, you know, I counted yes, as yeah. our doorstep. Because I live there now, but we I wasn't alive. under one roof, that's true. Mm, I wasn't alive, but 44 years ago, you showed up on the doorstep I'll, in a little basket. I'll never forget it. I remember you laid father and I. We opened the door and we looked out, and there was just this bawling, hairy little baby just screaming its head off. And, uh, and so we welcomed you into our family. We never told the authorities, so legally... <laughs> You're not adopted. Wait a so second. That, you maybe that makes you feel better. Maybe someone's still looking for me. Oh, I doubt it. I don't know about that, Rogers. It's been maybe quite a long time. Maybe my mommy still wants me. I doubt it. I mean, I look at you. It. Huh? <laughs> Just because I'm five feet tall and got a beard as long as me. It's longer if I have anything to say about you it. You don't. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I'll put you in the trap door again. <laughs> Please don't do that ever to me again, now, Rogers. For, for new listeners, don't call the, call me dad. The tr- You're not my dad. I have a real dad. Wait, but Buttercup, please, Rogers, raise. I'm your you. adopted dad. Don't be rude to your father. He's your father. All right, all right, all right. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you're new listeners, of course, trap door is a family tradition where if someone misbehaves, they go in the trap door. And Rogers, I used to put you in there when you were a child. Mm-hmm. And my father used to put me in the trap door. He was a very stern person. I hope that I've been a nicer parent to you than my father was to me. Well, did your dad uh, slap you when you didn't get the math numbers right? We would get slapped for any reason under the sun. Well, did your dad take you to the grocery store and make you count every apple and then ask the manager if that was the right number? Well, you're very fortunate that you got to go to a grocery store because when I was growing up, it was poor times and we couldn't go to one. Where'd you get apples then? We had to grow a tree and wait for those goddamn apples to bloom. Nature's grocery store. Nature's gro- Thank you, Buttercup. Oh. Rogers. I hate going down into the trap door. There's worms down there. It's not supposed to be fun. It's Gummy the time. worms. It's- I love it. Buttercup, you love going Is it down- opposite day? Do you hiding candy in the trap door? Yeah, that's where I keep oh. my stash of cigarettes, too. What? what? Buttercup. Oh, get over here. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I'm going to pinch your ears. Ow. Oh. Ow. Ow. That's a classic, <laughs> classic gardenia. What's. <laughs> gardenia? What is our last name? <laughs> Gardenia Rosenberg. Well, now I'm ve- I'm very elderly, so it's hard for me to remember things. I think it was something like. Gar- and I'm very gar- young, so I don't know stuff either. <laughs> <laughs> and I have amnesia. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> we're quite a family, <laughs> but we love each other. We we no, do we love- don't. Rogers, what a thing to say. I don't love either of you. Holy <laughs> hot dogs. <laughs> Language, Buttercup. <laughs> I'm sorry, Grandma. Better language. <laughs> Zotalu. Rogers, you, you're being very uh, ornery today. What, uh, what's happened? What's happened? Let's well, catch. Let, okay, it's time for the department. I, I can't believe we didn't do this sooner. It's time for family catch up. Play the jingle. All right. Rogers. What's been going on? Well, you're uh, very ornery I today. I had a bad week at work. What happened, oh, dear? Oh, no. Well, everyone in my office played a prank on me. <gasps> Wait, do you work with the jackass crew? Yeah, well, <laughs> that's what I call them. For people. They're tax accountants. <laughs> and and some of the jackass cast is now, mem- they're now yeah, accountants. Yeah, they don't have jobs no, <laughs> no more. Not the dead one. No, not the dead one. He doesn't work. <laughs> but as he an watches account. over all of us. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, oh, I hope so. I hope that's true. I hope he's in a better place. Looking um, down on us. Yes. You work with Steve O? Yep. 
Anyhow, they played a big prank on me, and it was not nice, and it really put me in a sour kind of mood. What was the... Now, you you have a very responsible job. You do all the numbers for the accounting firm. You have to count yes. the numbers out loud. I make sure that all the numbers are there so that they can do their job and use the numbers. Yes. Everyone else uses their computers and such, mm-hmm. but you're there. It's very important as a Counting fail safe. numbers. You count Just the numbers out loud. Saying yeah. things like, zero. That's right, zero. That's the only one you know, isn't it? <laughs> hey... Just because oh. you had a tough day doesn't mean that you got to take it out on me. It makes me feel better. Butter, yeah. Buttercup, you mind your elders. Now, Rogers, what happened at work? Well, Tell mother. Okay. Oh, mommy, hold me. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll let me cradle you. Let like me I get in on this. this. Oh, yeah, Buttercup. Baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Buttercup. Oh. You're, you're, I'm all up in this. <laughs> your youthful exuberance. It's terrible. I sometimes. love hugs. I love it. <laughs> well, okay. Mommy, I'll tell you in your ear. That's right. Just you, you tell me. So mommy. I went to, into work. Uh-huh. And I walked and put, I wiped my feet on the mat when of I came in, like I you're always a good boy. do. That's right. Yes. And my shoes got stuck to the mat. Oh no! Did they put a glue on? They the, put a glue on the, on the mat. Oh! And then I couldn't get up, so I, I couldn't get out, so I fell forward, and I fell straight into a child-sized pool full of jello. <laughs> now, you of course you couldn't get out of your shoes because you because you're so self-conscious about your height. You wear those great big Gene Simmons platform lace-up boots. Yes. <laughs> and kiss makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make it make sense. <laughs> because you like being mistaken for Gene Simmons with yeah. a beard. <laughs> You, do and you I wear the, my tongue extender. I've yeah. seen it happen so many times. Because in, in reality, you have a very short tongue. Yep. It doesn't even reach the front of your mouth. I couldn't speak normally without this ex- extender. I'm dressed as the cat man to be close to you. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, And of course, I have a lot. Oh, Buttercup, my, I'm sorry. Oh, but please, I, I felt bad. Rogers. She got so sad. She loves you. You okay? Know, Rogers. I love you. I'm okay, but I do love you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the two uh, are not mutually exclusive. Mm-hmm. Well, that sounds terrible. I well, was not done yet. Oh, oh, okay. So that was just the beginning I fell into of the a baby pool prank. full of jello. What? Where was this? Just right, right there? Right in front of the mat. What? I didn't what notice What flavor? It. What flavor? <laughs> Green flavor. Yum. <laughs> like. I, I ate my way out. <laughs> Why? You. <laughs> I couldn't get, I couldn't stand, so I ate my way out until a, I slid through. Right. How and big was this baby pool? It was a, just a baby five pool, Five feet right? long, okay. yeah. Okay. Oh, so as long as you. In <laughs> diameter? And it was two oh, and was half it square? in radius. No. Oh, okay. So it's not like a horse trough full it of It was general. a circle. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I slid through. And then at the end, I sh- they had a, a slip and slide set up. So right out of that pool, I shot straight down to the end of the hall. So you step on the mat to wipe your feet like a good boy. There's glue on the mat. Yes, mommy. You, you f- you fall forward, but you have enough I momentum. I leave my shoes. You leave Shush. your shoes, so you sort of you sort of uh, slide in and out of the jello, eating as you go, and then you land on a <laughs> slip and slide. I shoot out onto the slip and slide. Very wow. good, very good foley art. Have you been going to your classes? I've been going to my classes every day. Buttercup is, of course, taking foley classes. She wants to work in motion pictures. As Wait, someone. the horse got in. No, no, Rogers. It's just Buttercup doing a horse noise. <laughs> <laughs> the dismissive horse. <laughs> oh, he's got not a trolley. So then you slip and slide on the other side. I shot straight straight through the whole office. Everyone cheered. How long was the slip and slide? <laughs> Buttercup! Buttercup! Los Angeles! What? Buttercup? Are you ready to rock? We are Kiss, the hottest band in the world! Well, actually, she's right. They were playing a Kiss concert. That's the only crowd noise I can do. No, you're right, Buttercup. They played a Kiss concert over the speaker as I shot through. (laughs) Why would they do that? Because they're mocking me because of my makeup. Oh, because of your Kiss makeup and boots. Daddy, that sounds terrible. Yeah, and then I they I landed uh, on a spring at the end of it. <laughs> it shot me right up in the air. My head went through the ceiling. Oh no! Through then the- I was hanging just by my head. <laughs> Then they had a little... That's like, that's like being hung in the movies. Yep. Just by your head. Mm-hmm. Then they had a... <laughs> Hold on a second, Roger. What's that? What are you talking about, Buttercup? I'm saying that uh, that's typical hanging style, just, just by the head. 
But you like also if, mentioned the movies. Well, yeah, you know, I've never seen anyone get hanged in real life. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah. Then they had. I'm a, going to my first one next week. Okay. Oh, but we'll have to talk about that in family, the family plans department. Get that jingle ready. <laughs> So then a little person came uh, walk up all the stairs, so I had to wait. A for little him. person walk up all the stairs? So I had to wait for him to get up there. And then he used a, he used a hammer. Wait a minute. A big sledgehammer. And he knocked all the, all the, the floor around my neck out so that I could fall through back down to, to the floor. I landed in my desk chair. Which they then put a lucky. blindfold on me. This is part of the plan. <laughs> they put a blindfold on me. And then uh, the new girl who's... Uh, Zoe Deschanel. Yes. She came and... Surprise! Spun me around until I was very dizzy. Like a record baby? Yeah, right round. Then I had to get up and use a baseball bat to hit a, bat, to hit a ball. Play ball! <laughs> And I had to hit a timer that had been going off since the whole, whole prank started. And it was high up on what the What did wall. it say at this point? It seems five, like it must have taken hours. Five hours. Oh. <laughs> Two minutes. Wait, how long? How much of that time was where you, you had your head stuck in the ceiling? Three hours. That's a little long person time. Couldn't get up the stairs because someone kept pushing her down. Him down, sorry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Why? Was, was that part of the prank? That's their bully. Oh, I see. So it's a bullying and a prank intersecting. Unrelated, that person gets bullied because he's very rude. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, makes sense. He is rude, but what is being done to him is bullying. It's still bu- it's still bullying if a person's rude or not. Every human being deserves basic human decency. That's very true. So I Except hit the that ball. Except Joseph Coney. <laughs> I hit the ball. Coney 2014. To hit the timer. <laughs> the timer set off a train 20, 2012. Reac- <laughs> now, hold on a second. J- just Rogers. Uh, here, cut, cuddle up close to, to oh, mother. Oh, mommy. How did you know... Says you were to hit the baseball at the. You hit the baseball they at scream, the timer. They were there instructions? at me. <laughs> it is almost sounds like one of those escape rooms. <laughs> so they were screaming in unison. They were screaming, hard. "Hit the ball to the timer! <laughs> hit the ball to the timer! Stop the timer!" So then I went and hit it. So one stop the timer for every two hit the balls to the timer. Okay. I hit the big red button. The time stopped. Bing! Everyone now, was the, that always there or no? No, I'd never seen it before. <laughs> Everyone in the office stopped as if time froze. I walked through and got to do whatever I wanted to each of them. What'd you do to them all? But time had not actually frozen. They were just standing there pretending the time yep. had frozen. Precious pickles, what did you do? But there was language. Well, I'm up. sorry, Grammy. Name my coworkers. I'll tell you what I did. Oh, uh, Rosie. I patted her head. (laughs) Thomas and Ted. I buttoned both of their shirts to each other. (laughs) They are Siamese twins. Yep. We don't. We say good join. (laughs) Well, maybe maybe I'm not politically correct, (laughs) but you know, I think it's time that we all stop being politically correct. But a cup. I don't know. I just think that you know, if we just said what we meant, we people waste too much time. Do you want to do your segment where you rant? (laughs) All right. Let's. It's time for. Let's get it out of the way. It's time for Buttercup's rant. Play the jingle. (laughs) All right. What's up, cuppers? All right. Hey, what the cuppers? Hey, what the cuppy lots? All right, what am I ranting about today? Well, first of all, I bullfrogs. I think they're shiny and cute, but they feel funny when you touch them. Hey, bullfrogs, get it together. You you look cute, but you feel slimy. That's it. All right, good rant, but wow, I do love you. <laughs> oh, that's all it took. That warms my heart. I'm so happy to see. So I hit the timer. Right. I did all these things to them. And then the, finally, <laughs> when I got to the end of all the people, I got around, and there was a little child who'd been hiding under a desk the oh. entire time. Oh, my God. Now, she, that's not typical no. at your office. She climbed up to the, the edge of a cubicle, mm-hmm. and she was in tap shoes. She <laughs> tapped along the edge. <laughs> Tick, 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 tick,
Wings. Kick line. Everyone claps to the kick line. For a one person kick line. Yeah. It's impressive. <laughs> and then she walked, she tiptoed across the cubicle edge and whispered in my ear, hit the ball again to <laughs> hit the timer. Again, you were told to hit the ball at the timer. Hey, can I ask you something, Dad? Are you sure you weren't dreaming? I'm oh, positive. Are you sure? Rogers, this does rather sound no. like a dream. Sounds like some sort of David Lynchian oh. dream. <laughs> Wait till you hear what happened next. Okay. I hit the ball to the timer. Time started again. Everyone started moving as if nothing had happened. <laughs> then they said, you're almost done, kid. Oh, <laughs> wow. This must have taken all day. They all said that in unison. With that voice. What the, You're almost done, kid. Let's try it. Sort of, let's try and replicate it for the okay. listeners. So it's uh, like three, two, two one. one. You're, You're almost done, kid. A sort they, of forties movie noir patois. Yep. They sat me in front of an old desktop computer. Uh, How old? The first Mac. The very oh. first one that was yeah. created. Why well, it said on it in Sharpie, "Was is Mac." <laughs> Do not touch. <laughs> Just written on the computer? Or was it it a was his. On the computer. So I sat down and suddenly a game started uh, from the movie with Fred Savage when he was a little kid. Mm, so many to choose from. Oh. Hold on, where he's playing a game in the beginning. He's playing a game in the beginning. The Princess, Princess Bride? Bride? Yeah. I love that one. Peter Falk, Wait, underrated. Was he in a movie where Dabney Coleman played two characters? Yeah. Did someone say my uh, name? Oh, whoa! Who's this? Uh, Dab- hi, I'm Dabney Coleperson. Oh, Dabney Coleperson. Caricaturist our, uh, to the Mom. stars. Our house caricaturist. Hey, did it, someone mention me? Uh, no, Dabney. We mentioned Dabney Coleman, the actor. Oh, I get confused with him a lot. All right, gotta wait, go. Wait, wait! It no. seems like you're the one doing the confusing nowadays. <laughs> yes, well... <laughs> Gotta go! Good. Wait, draw me! No, no, Rogers, we wow. have the time. We simply have the time. Wow! Uh, anyhow, I sat at the computer. The game started. I had to kill two wizards with one stone. Oh. Everyone watched. I finally did it. <laughs> then they put a bag over my head and put me in the freezer for two hours. Oh, two hours, Rogers! I came out, finally got to go home, and let me just say I'm in a bad mood. Wow! <laughs> did they fuck you while you had the bag over your head? Buttercup. That's how I like to do it! What? Oh, what? Buttercup! You put, put a, people with bags over yeah, their head? put a bag over the your, bitch's head! Your sexual... <laughs> your sexual Are you a lesbian? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> This is how you come out to me? Yeah. You tell me you like to fuck women by putting a bag over the bitch's head? Yeah. Not under my roof. Buttercup. That's I'll find another roof. This no. Is, no. The whole the family's being torn apart. This is terrible. Did you know she was gay? I had my suspicions. What gave it away? Well, so she's collecting all those bags in a, in yep. a, in a, in a, in a larger bag labeled bitch bag. <laughs> Well, uh, you know why I always thought I you were gay? And I put two and two together. You know why I always thought you were gay, Buttercup? Why is that, Dad? Because every time we go out, you talk about how you want to lick everyone's pussy. <laughs> everyone's. Right. Everyone. Look, 52% of the, the English people are women, okay? I like them odds. The English people. <laughs> yep. I'm not interested in foreigners. Gross. Yuck. Ugh. Wait a Especially minute. Especially Muslims. Do you mean people who speak English, or do you mean yep. the people of England? The former. <laughs> okay. What did you just say? Especially what? I'm not letting you relive that. Buttercup, I wish you oh, wouldn't drag Oh, my your, little Les. Oh, I wish you wouldn't drag your, your extreme alt-right politics. Fuck it, I'm drunk right this. now. What? what? Buttercup. Buttercup. Yeah, I'm acting out. <laughs> what have you been drinking? Uh, Boone's Farm. Mom. Well, I I have it for when I watch my stories. Well, you shouldn't give it to Buttercup. I have I, a really long, crazy straw that I dip in there and go. I, <sighs> I keep it in a mini fridge the size of a box of a compressed mattress. And so it stays warm. <laughs> no, it's yeah. I'm not getting the logic behind this. It's warm, like if you put it in a mattress. No, the the mini fridge is the size of a compressed mattress box. Oh. Is it as cool as the other side of the pillow? The inside the mini fridge, yes. Got it. I keep my Boone's Farm in there, and I watch my stories during the day, and I drink my wine all day long. 
I had two sips and I'm fucked up. <laughs> Is that why your eyes are crossed? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Plus, I'm seeing something really crazy right now. What is it? You, mom, dad. <laughs> Buttercup. Mom, dad. Buttercup. <laughs> All right, mom. Yes. Can you explain to the listeners how I'm Buttercup's dad, but I'm not biologically her dad, but I am adopted your yes. son? Hey, grandma, yes. grandma. Uh, yes, Buttercup. Should we, should we talk to him about what we were going to talk to him about? Yes, I think that's probably right. Okay. It's, first of all, I will explain to the listener. Uh, <clears throat> okay, well, we might as well get into the segment. This is, of course, a weekly segment called Family Confrontations. Play the jingle. Oh, no. Now, for the listener, for the new listener, um, Buttercup is my granddaughter by blood. I had a, a an affair uh, while <laughs> I was. It's not funny. Why is Buttercup. that funny to you, Buttercup? It's, not funny. it's just funny. Imagine you have having sex. You're so old. Please, I I, I was very sexually active in my day. Yeah, now I bet. that's a thing. Slut. <laughs> Buttercup. <laughs> Buttercup, you are too quiet. I'm Say it sl- louder. I'm going to slut shame you. <laughs> Don't slut shame grandma on a podcast. 50 years later. <laughs> I haven't had sex in 30 years. That's ah. a sad thing. Yeah, it is sad for you. Yes, for me. How old are you, Mom? <laughs> I'm in my 80s now. Oh. Ever since your father died, I haven't had sex with another man. Well, I would hope not. And probably 10 years before he died, I didn't have sex with him either. Uh-huh. But while he was alive, you were getting it on the regs? Your father and I, for your grandfather and I, had a very vigorous sexual relationship for quite some time, for most of our marriage. What and positions? Then, oh, oh, all of them. I mean, we went crazy. Buttercup, you don't know any positions. I know one. What? 69. <laughs> I don't know the other 68. <laughs> Is that the first time you've said that? <laughs> Maybe. That's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I love you. I love you. Okay, get off me, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck so, are we talking about? So who's <laughs> When you were fucking people, yes, Mom. I, who's my real dad? You had an affair. Hold hold on a second. You're what? What at a time? Your children are vexing me. I haven't had my wine yet today. I have. Buttercup, you're making me very angry and cross. I'm sorry, I love you. I love you, Buttercup. Oh, your kisses are like a bomb to me. Now then. A bomb? A bomb, yes. They're da bomb. <laughs> your kisses are like the bomb to Dip. me. Dip. <laughs> your kisses are like the bomb to me. Dip. <laughs> Dip. Now, continue, Grammy. Thank you, dear. So... <clears throat> When I was married uh, to Roger's father, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Mr. Gardiniaton. Uh, Adopted father. He, okay. Well, we he know. Was, he, but he was a father to you, wasn't yes, he, Rogers? He was. he was a good man. He screamed at all my soccer coaches for me. <laughs> yes, he did. He certainly <laughs> he did. He sounds great. <laughs> he took you to the dentist, and then he made that video where you were all crazy. Yep. It went viral, and he got a million clicks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, he did a million clicks. Wow, he got viral video fame. Yep, oh, the clicks best. for days. <laughs> That's what we used to call him around the house. Clicks for days. Here comes old clicks for days, Gardeniaton. <laughs> I wish I knew him. He sounds so cool. Well, he didn't want to meet you. He oh. he was very shy. Was he a Vine star too? <laughs> Inadvertently, he didn't set out to be. <clears throat> but people just chopped up the video into five second increments. What a cool guy! <laughs> and he was only funny for six seconds at a time. That's mm. true. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes not in a row. Listen, we have to take a break. But when we come back, there's something very important that we have yeah, to talk I'm really about, Rogers. So oh, I bet you are. Uh, yeah. Well, it's very important we got to talk to you about it, Dad. Thanks for the backup, Buttercup. Oh. Yeah, I got your back. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back after this message. The month of December is pretty stressful. You got Christmas at the end of it, and you got everything leading up to Christmas before it, and then you got New Year's Eve at the very, very end of it. It's, there's not enough. There should be a 13th month. Like, there should be December? that you can just chill, and then there should be Christmas month. There's just no time. You don't have time to go to the post office. Traffic, parking, etc. And it is the etc. 
that gets you in this situation. Do what I do and do what everyone here at Earwolf does. Use stamps.com instead. It's, ah. Oh. It's so easy. What are you even thinking not doing it? You're driving me crazy. How long has Stamps been advertised? They've been, they've been for years. And you won't listen. Well, let me finally get it through your thick skull. Stamps.com is the answer to all your problems. You're sitting here going to the freaking post office every week like a numbskull. And I'm tearing my hair out trying to tell you about stamps.com and you won't listen. Well, finally, 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 listen to me about this. Stamps.com. You avoid the hassle of going to the post office during the busy holiday season. Is that so hard? Is that so hard for you to comprehend? Everything you would do with the post office, you do right from your desk, including buying and printing official U.S. postage. <laughs> you do it from your own computer, even. But do you listen? No. Well, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I use stamps.com, and I want you to. I want you to do it. You should. I mean, it's never been easier. Right now, you can sign up for Stamps.com using my promo code BANGBANG for a special offer, which includes a four-week trial and a $110 bonus offer, including a scale. Yeah, they send you a scale. What other business sends you a scale? You know, I mean, that's really, it's ludicrous to expect any other business to send you a scale. But Stamps.com does it. They do it because they want your business that badly. They want it so bad, they said, you know what, we'll just send people scales. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry I got so upset. But sometimes it's, you push me. You push me like this, and it's not fair to you to get so upset. It's not fair, but... Look, just if, if I can impart anything to you, it's just you, you shouldn't wait. You should go to stamps.com, and before you do anything else, you click on the microphone. <sighs> click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, all right? Don't just go to stamps.com. Click on the microphone and type in bang, bang. Stamps.com, enter bang, bang. Do it finally for me, please. And I'll see you never at the post office. It's a with special guest. Hello, Relapkis. Welcome back to Generations, the podcast. Now, before the break, we just opened up the, the, the conf confrontation segment. We listened to the jingle and loved mm. it. Mm. And so we have something to confront what you about. Now, you are my adopted son. You're my adopted dad. And, uh -huh. and, uh, and Buttercup is my biological mm -hmm. granddaughter. Blood is thicker than water. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, Buttercup. But uh, I've just discovered something recently. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you were in the Guinness Book of Is World. it the cure to AIDS? <laughs> no, Buttercup. You know that it's not. Do you have AIDS, Buttercup? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you already have AIDS? How <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm a millennial. You know, we could have prevented this. How? If you had told us you had HIV, we could have gotten you some medication. Yeah, true. My bad. We could have put you on the cocktail. <laughs> oh, well. I don't want a life like Magic Johnson's. This is great. It seems pretty good. Eh. No pass. Well, pass it's away. It's talk show like son. It. <laughs> Why would you know about Magic Johnson's talk show? Not a fan. Not a fan. Anyway, Grandma, what'd you discover? What is going <laughs> on? I gotta know. Thanks for getting us back on track, Buttercup. We were very proud of you when you were named the Guinness Book of World's Record holder for the longest beard. Mm. And are so proud. I of went around picture. saying to everyone, "That's my adopted dad." That, why can't you just say, "That's my dad"? You know, why that's you the part to... that hurts me. <laughs> yeah. Is that you Don't can't you just see? accept that's that my adopted beard. I, I raised. Hurtful. I'm not your beard. <laughs> no, I'm saying your beard is adopted. Uh, every part of you is adopted. Well, I, I'm not. There's your adopted fingernails. 
No, they're you not. Adopted nose. I'm one. I'm one person. Mm. Butter cup. I'm going to put you in the trap door. Oh my gummy bears! There will, there will be no gummy bears. Cigarettes. <laughs> now, Rogers. When you appeared on our doorstep, just a foundling in a basket. We were so excited, and we thought, oh, look at this little hairy baby. He's already got a little beard. Uh-huh. But then oh. I just discovered something. I was talking to a cryptozoologist friend of mine. Was it, wait, 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 was it your friend Gary who comes by the house every once in a yeah, while? Yeah, Gary, the cryptozoologist. <laughs> what is it? He hasn't been around in a while. No, I haven't seen Gary. To, well, I mean, I saw, I saw him last week for the first time in a while. Yeah, yeah. But he told me something. What? So I'm around Mother's Day. Yes, but I come around Mother's Day. What does his voice sound like? <laughs> Yo, do that imitation of Gary. <laughs> oh, I'm good. please call me Gary. I do an impression of him, too. He says, please call me Gary. Please call me Gary. Oh, I do an uh, impression of him, too. Oh, okay. Please call me Gary. <laughs> great I, guy, great guy. I wish I could do an impression of him. Now then, Gary showed me some old photographs. And it's not so much that scissors won't cut your hair. And it's not so much that you have such a long beard. It's that you've been shaving the rest of your face, your forehead, cheeks, and nose, because you are in reality a Sasquatch. Oh. <gasps> Roger. My adopted dad is a gosh darn Sasquatch? Language. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm sorry, but... You, instead of growing your beard, you've been shaving the rest of your body to appear human? I have a secret. <gasps> Is it related to what we're talking about? I thought it was, I thought this was the secret. You're saying it's something else? Yeah. Rogers, what is it, dear? You can tell us anything. We're family. We're generations. We're generations. The podcast. <laughs> Lock the gates. Lock the gates. My famous what's, line what's from up, the covers? movie. What the cuppers? What's your secret, Dad? I love you. Whatever it is, it can't be worse than me being gay, which well. is a sin. Which is a sin. <laughs> what the hell? Rogers, put a pin in your secret. So you are in no... An extreme oh. alt right. Yeah, it's a sin, all right. I know it's a sin, but I but can't help are, it. Okay. I love it. You're very confusing, Buttercup. <clears throat> Rogers, what is your secret? Well, you, so you know I'm a Sasquatch? Yes. And you know I dress like Kiss? Yes. You're a little five-foot-tall Sasquatch that dresses like Gene Simmons from Kiss. I suspect you've been wearing that Gene Simmons makeup so you don't have to shave your face every day. You've been painting over it Caesar Romero Joker style. Fine, so, that's true, but that's not the secret. So oh, many okay. old references, Buttercup. <laughs> hey! For a 15-year-old girl. I don't, I, you know, I've always felt I'm an old soul. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. My secret is... I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a sin! Oh, man! Buttercup. My daddy's a... F- <laughs> <laughs> Boy, oh I don't even want to no, say it. No, I don't want you to say it either. Oh, I can't believe it. Buttercup. I'm just like My daddy's you. a fucking I'm, gay person. Like, I'm just like you, you idiot. Ugh. Rogers, how long have you known? I've known since the day I was born. <gasps> since you the remember day you were that? Born. The first thing I thought. Well, maybe it's different for Sasquatches. Do you yeah. have memories? That- my first memory was when I came out of my mom. I thought, I want to be inside a guy. <laughs> <laughs> but only one part of you? So you're a top. <laughs> wow, my daddy's a top. My adopted daddy's a top. Wow. Dad, I got to say something to you. I've never said this before in my life. What is it, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Freaking french fries. I'm proud of you. Language! Language! Buttercup, please. I know this is an emotional time, but there's no need for that sort of talk. I it's don't very care. Salty. I don't care. I just, you know, I know it's a sin and all, but you're living your life. Thank you. But everyone at the office hates me. 
Is well, that why they hate you? No, they hate me because I'm a Sasquatch freak. <laughs> they knew? <laughs> they knew because guess what? What? I walk around behind, just out of outside the windows, just kind of between the trees all day long. <laughs> <laughs> they take, like, blurry pictures of you? Yeah, but... I get, I get closer and closer. I get closer and closer to the building, and their pictures capture me as I'm walking in. So they know it's me the whole oh, way. Oh man! What are you doing out there when you're walking around the trees? I'm trying to figure out, you know, what show I want to watch tonight. Or you should go to work. They're paying you. I mean, you're doing this during working hours. Yeah, to get their attention. Okay. Why did they prank me? <laughs> well. Uh, well, I don't care, Dad. I love you. Well, thanks, hon. Hey, Graham. I mean, Mom. <laughs> yes, You dear. got any secrets of your own? Well, of course. Oh, family secret segment. <clears throat> Play the jingle. <sighs> I've never told either of you this, mm. and this is something that I've lived with for quite some time. What is it? I don't really have alopecia. <gasps> You're gay? <laughs> we know it. She just, she, she said her secret right before you said what? Oh, I'm sorry. What was it? She doesn't have alopecia. Huh? I don't really have alopecia. You're not faking it, are you? No, I was struck by lightning. <gasps> Lucky. No. <laughs> no. So we're really running the did, gamut of reactions. Did, did Thor, the <clears throat> god of thunder, strike you down or something? I think so. Oh, my gosh. I've never been a religious person, but I do believe in Norse mythology. <laughs> Oh, Mom. Wow. So this whole time, you've been wearing wigs. <laughs> did did the lightning come down, and then all of your hair, like, just sort of slowly fell off your body? It's sounding like, bing, 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 bing. Is that bing, what bing, that bing, would bing, 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 No Mr. more Sandman. hair now. <laughs> yes. Leave me some hair. Dum, 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 dum. Make it the best that you've ever seen there. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Make it really long and blonde. Mm-hmm. Like a lady who is not your mom. All right, all right. You've done your song parody. Now look, I'll take my wig off and you can see. Here. Oh, you can see a the patches. scar on your forehead. Yeah, just like, just like Harry the Potter. boy who lived. The boy who lived, that's correct. You think he'll ever die? Sometimes I yearn for death. I mean, the wizard. Hmm? You, but you. Oh. <laughs> Harry Potter, she's talking about. Harry, uh, he's talking about. I'm your dad, damn it! <laughs> I love you, daddy, even though you're gay. <laughs> you don't need to say that. If, yes, it's like saying adopted, first of all. Yes. My you're, gay you're, adopted dad. You don't need to keep defining your father by these characteristics. I'm a, a great hu- guy. I was going to say he's a human being, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> so, my gosh, you don't have alopecia. Why have you been no. telling us that all these years? Well, look, it looks terrible. Just these yeah. patchy, weird, singed <laughs> tatters of hair. Well, it, I'm not saying that you couldn't tell the truth and not still wear your wig. Oh, I never thought about that. <laughs> it never occurred to me. Couldn't I- tell the truth and not still wear your wig no more. <laughs> what? Don't make fun of me, bitch. <laughs> but Buttercup, you I just respect lost track of what your point was, you bitch. He was saying, <laughs> but Rogers. Couldn't wear the wig and not I lose see- track of your what? I see where she gets it now. Oh, now you do? <laughs> well, to be quite fair, I've not been a fan of your parenting style. Okay, well... I really don't like to hear that. <laughs> Actually, that really hurts me, Mommy. Hey, Grammy. I think what, we buttercup? I think we got to take a break. Buttercup, you're absolutely Why, right. Why, you got to go down the trap door and smoke a cig? Mm, one of my funky cigarettes. <laughs> what? Uh-huh. Jazz cigarettes? My wacky tobacco. Oh, you're no. a strange 15-year-old. <laughs> Well, we'll be. We, please listen to this word from our sponsor and support our sponsors. And then when we return, we'll have more with Generations, the podcast. Hi, Paul. Hi, Scott. Sorry, you've caught me in the middle of doing legal stuff. <laughs> It's always, of, it's always a mess. What kind of legal stuff are you doing? Are you doing oh, a will? Oh, my God, I'm doing a will. Doing, <laughs> great. <laughs> Who are you leaving all your money to? Oh, to... 
<laughs> to Leona Helmsley's pets, grandchildren, whatever pets that they that, that they have that she spawned. left her money to. She left her money to her pets, and if right. those pets have, have any have procreated, have yeah. any grandchildren. <laughs> By the I way, give us a grandchild. Please give, Please us, a give grandchild. us a grandchild. <laughs> Look, now that the holiday rush is over, LegalZoom can help you make this a memorable year before all the distractions take hold. What holidays? The New Year's and... Did we have that already? <laughs> Were you? What have you been doing the last couple of weeks? I got wrapped up in all this legal stuff. Oh, no. Trying to do it myself. So there's, I missed you Christmas? You missed Christmas. Oh. Your wife must be furious oh with you. Oh, my God, my wife. My wife. I did that life. Oh, no. Did you leave her somewhere? <laughs> she's at, at home. At the lawyer's I office? I bet she's at home. Oh, gosh. Well, look, make this the year you finally get serious about launching and running your business. Okay. Okay? Jesus. <laughs> look, I hate to sound bossy but this is something look i admitted that i don't know what i'm doing all of your friends have said this about you rest a little easier knowing your family's future is squared away with the right estate plan okay oh like for when i die for when you die leave all your mind on your wife honestly not leona helsley's <laughs> no she, your wife deserves it more than them well please or at least our grandchildren legal zoom has been helping people like you worthless people like you okay take care of their dreams and responsibilities for more than 16 years sounds like 16 and a half maybe <sighs> Yeah. Certainly couldn't be 20 because they would say 20. Yeah, yeah. It hasn't been. It's less than 20. Yeah. I need someone to take care of my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a dream catcher? Well, I've been entrusted. I have a dream catcher. Uh, of course, I am entrusting my dreams to Lord Morpheus, the ruler of the dream <laughs> realm. Of course. But still, you're. Oh, and Mr. Sandman. I've been counting on him to bring me a dream. <laughs> right, of course. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Two different guys. Two, yeah, two totally different guys. <laughs> Look, LegalZoom is not a law firm, but they have the resources to keep you on the right path, including advice from their network of independent attorneys. All at, you know those things at the uh, ends of your fingers? Uh, mm, my fingertips? Yeah, your fingertips. All at your fingertips. Oh. LegalZoom is right there at your fingertips. So now here's what I've been doing, mm -hmm. okay? I've been going to the library. Stay there all day, mm -hmm. um, sometimes hiding from when they close. So far, all fine. Coming, coming out at night, mm -hmm. just pouring over legal books. Sure. Just trying to understand it, and I can't. Well, look, LegalZoom, they're not lawyers either. They're not a law firm. No, they so, are oh, lawyers. So why should I use them? <laughs> no, they're it not. sounds a, like I got my they're plan. Not a, they're not a law firm, so you don't have to pay those, you know, the law hourly fees, yeah, law firm yeah. fees. And you don't have to sit there at the library using their slow internet. Mm -hmm. And doing it yourself, whether you want to take your business to the next level or, or take control of your family's future with an estate too, plan. Yes. LegalZoom plugs you uh, and plugs right into your life so you can take care of the things that matter most. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Is this the <laughs> Matrix? They don't plug I you don't, like in the, in sit, the Wild West. I where, don't want to sit in some goo. <laughs> <laughs> LegalZoom makes you sit in goo. <laughs> they do? This is a call to action, yes. LegalZoom makes you sit in goo. If you're ready to sit in goo, I guess call I LegalZoom. I, I guess I am. I mean, it's better than my plan. <laughs> yeah. Better than sitting in the library all day. It's with special guest, Laura Lapkus. Buttercup, get out of the trap door. Ah! We're continuing. We're wrapping things up. We're the, we're the <gasps> what final What were you leg. watching on your phone? Oh, I was just watching funny YouTube videos of pornos. Funny YouTube <laughs> videos of pornos? Uh-huh. They're so funny. <laughs> like porno bloopers? <laughs> yeah. You know, when someone queefs? <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> now, it's time for our segment, our weekly segment, where we have uh, advice uh, uh, questions asked of our resident advice giver, Tracy Reardon. I was Tracy, down in the trap door. Wh what were you doing down there, dear? We were watching funny YouTube videos of porns gone wrong. <laughs> we're good friends. Are you? Do you go to the same school? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I hey, never hey. knew this. How's your grandma? Mine's great. Mine <clears throat> died. Oh no! But she's really oh, I'm good. Sorry. She's good. We've been keeping up with uh, the Kardashians. Kardashians? <laughs> yeah, great. Kind of keeping track of what they're doing and stuff, and we both love that. I hear she's uh, halted production. Yeah, because of the mugging. Oh yes, uh, Kim Kardashian was uh, uh, robbed. Is this the news segment? <laughs> yeah, very quick news segment. Uh, if you're just to, if you're just joining us, uh, about four weeks ago, Kim Kardashian was robbed in France. Wow. 
Yes, so okay. anyways, no, basically everyone wants to know like how to have the perfect family like you guys. So like uh, they have a bunch of questions and you guys can help explain like what you do to make Who it better out. than us. So <laughs> this one comes from Deserving Porcupine at Liren. His picture is like a drawing of a porcupine that's pretty bare bones. <laughs> Bathroom etiquette. You know, Discuss. the spines of a, of a porcupine look like bones. Okay. Now, Buttercup, we got to really- Buttercup, this is totally true. I love that. Yeah. Isn't it so, it's so yeah, funny, let's Tracy. Let's get tattoos of, of porcupines. Yeah, on no, our vaginas. No, no. <laughs> and it looks like a hail. Yeah. And when I went to comes close, comes close, we'll say, it's, don't touch my quills. <laughs> <laughs> Bathroom etiquette. Discuss. Well, we, <laughs> in Ray, the family. Yeah, like yeah. how do you guys? You, I know your well, house only has one bathroom. We have a half That's bath. That's right. Yeah, a half bath, and your tub is outside. Yes. So, like, how do you decide like who gets to use the toilet or not? It's, it's we we ask each other who has to shit the most, and, and we all hold our butts and wiggle around until it becomes clear who has to go. <laughs> because you can tell if someone's faking it. If someone really needs to go, mm-hmm. there's no mistaking Once it. Once there's just the glimmer of a turd. Yeah. So we stand in front of a big wide mirror so we yep. can see all Spread each other. Eagle. We do the dance and then we we vote. <laughs> And, and we vote on who we think is the most likely to shit yes. first. And, and we're very honest about and it. Can I you vote for say. yourself? It's the honor system. You, can, well, you can't you, vote for yourself. You, you can't vote you for yourself. Can't That's the vote one. for yourself. Even if you know that you are the <laughs> yeah. one, but we we were very honest about it. And I think when we first started it, we were we could vote for ourselves. And guess what? Everyone voted for themselves. Of course they did. Of course they did. But then we put ourselves on an honor system, and now mm-hmm. it works out quite nicely. Mm-hmm. It's for, a dirty mirror, though. I got to tell you, the mirror is filthy. It could use a dusting. <laughs> yeah. It's a fourteen room house with a half bath and a tub in the backyard. <laughs> It's a Wait. beautiful, beautiful Buttercup. place. It's a beautiful Buttercup, did you mean It's the, very modern. Why did you mean the meal was dirty, Buttercup? Because the mirror that we we check each other's buttholes. It's covered in shit? Yeah, Got man. Got it. This will come. Grandma didn't like that one. This will come. To, I went away in my mind. <laughs> this will come with Black Basta at B Walk B 89. His picture's a guy who's like, what's up, Doc? <laughs> Is it Bugs Bunny? No. Huh. Do you have any, it's that attitude. Oh. Yes. Do you have any unique holiday traditions? Oh, my word, yes. We we mm. celebrate every holiday in our home. Mm-hmm. And we do them all on the wrong day. Yes. Yep. Because so, we like to, because we do, things are too commercialized. Yep. So the 4th of July, we celebrate the 7th of July. Christmas, we celebrate January 3rd. <laughs> New Year's Day, we celebrate July 4th. Right. We, we it's go, a party every day in our place. It's a party every day. Every day is worth something to celebrate. And we give gifts at every holiday. Mm-hmm. The expensive ones too, Expen- like monster trucks. Cool. Cool. What's the best gift, Grandma, that you ever got from anyone in your fam? Oh, well, Rogers, when he was very small, oh, no. he, made, <laughs> he made me something at school. It, it, oh, I get, you're crying, I, Granny. When I think about it, it Aww. makes me very, I'm very touched in my heart when I think about I it. I love to see you cry. It was a, a cigar humidor that he made. In class at school. Now I used to smoke cigars mm. like a fiend when I was when I was a new mom. <laughs> I was so it relaxed. relaxes you. It rela- Oh, it relaxed me. Mm-hmm. And Rogers made me this humidor, and of course yeah. it was a little rough around the edges. And of course I did it with my teeth. He <laughs> made it with his teeth, and when you look at it that way, it's very impressive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that was my favorite. What was your favorite, Rogers? Uh, my favorite gift was when you took that um, roll of toilet paper and unrolled it and put little toys and then rolled it back up so that every time I went to the bathroom, I'd get a new toy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and I got the toilet paper. Yeah, I couldn't afford anything that year. <laughs> now, okay, that was cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This one comes with Wealth Bonab at Waifburn. His picture's like a bunch of people being like, we're all in the picture. <laughs> Is it true that your great-grandfather can't die? Mm. That's a question for Buttercup. Your great grandpa, my good, yeah. Well, your, your your father, my father. It's more like he won't die. Yeah. Oof. How old is he now? Three hundred and eighty-six. Yes. How old was he when he had you? Oh, he, he was like he a was real high hundreds. Yeah, <laughs> but it was a it was a May December romance with some hot piece of eighteen year old ass. Yeah. You liked her? Oh man, she was. So what would you do to her? She's seen pictures. Buttercup is seen. Buttercup. Your foley work's paying off. I can totally see the puss. That's your great grandmama. 
Ah, well. Hey, I call it like I see it. I suppose you do. It's like Donald and Ivanka. I c- <laughs> you can't control it. This one comes from um, TV's Coffin Lanagos at TV's Kevin Lanagan. Too many words. His picture's a dog in a t-shirt with sunglasses being like, well, well. When you I hold- can do it better. Ah, I see a pussy. But, oof. <laughs> What's happening? That was the same sound. <laughs> I know. Grandma. I, Grandma, get it I together. Grandma. Grandma, you pay for the Foley classes. You can't be mad. <laughs> With I your wish, Bitcoins. I wish you'd call me Mrs. Gardenia today. I wish fate. you were my grandma. Do you really? Yeah. Oh, Tracy, what a wonderful granddaughter you would make. I like how you wear sweatsuits. Thank you. They're very comfortable. You're so cozy. You're sweating so much. Uh, well, the sweatsuits. Yeah, I have I to know. sweat out that Boone's Farm. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one says, when you order a pizza, how that pie get divided up? Hmm, how that pie get divided up? Well, there's four of us. <clears throat> there's great grandpa. There's grandma. There's my gay adopted dad, <laughs> and me. What we do is everyone likes the experience of a pizza pie because it's round. And so we cut it into round strips. Mm-hmm. We take one of those those cutters. It's like so, making cookies with a big round thing of dough. Exactly. So everyone gets a long, thin, perfectly round strip of pizza that they can eat any way they like. And then I'm not sure how it's leftover? thin if it's perfectly round, but go ahead. But what are you talking? Hold on a second. <laughs> if it's what? ovular, it could be thin. Wait, it, do yes. you mean like you like stab holes in it so it's all the circles and then you have a bunch of leftovers? Or you cut circles around like uh, like this, like I'm showing on the table that no one yeah. can see. We cut strip. You know those round pizza cutters yeah. where you roll the, the sharp a thing along? A pizza cutter. A pizza cutter. And so uh, we, do, we go around the circumference of the pizza making strips that oh, are round. So I everyone get gets, it. Oh, do you get the like thing that we do every time? Cut. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm, I close my eyes but when I eat. But it's not a spiral. Food, dis- food disgusts me. You are, you are on the record of being disgusted by food. I need you to get food. better. <laughs> <laughs> Consider this your intervention, Buttercup. <laughs> you need to get better. I think you're right. fine the way you are. Thanks, Tracy. This one comes from Brendan McShane at Brendan R. McShane. His picture's like a guy with a little girl, and they're both like, <laughs> what happened fun? Y'all have to sleep in one giant bed. Yes, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory's diet. Mm-hmm. Well, I sleep at the foot of it like a dog. That's true. Rogers protects us all. He watches over us in the night. I suppose that makes sense since you technically are an animal. <laughs> You're a maniac. He's a maniac, right? <laughs> on the I, floor. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you Literally mean? on the floor. You're at a night. maniac, maniac on, on the floor. floor. And you're snoozing like you never, never slept before. before. Oh. Whoa, really? Michael Cimbello. <laughs> it's true. my favorite artist. <laughs> Another great reference. musical or otherwise, just artist. Um, <laughs> I have one more question. Okay, it's really important. It's from <laughs> David at Butt Dentist. His picture it sounds important. His face is a cartoon of a guy with a mohawk and a question mark in front of his face, and he's like, "What's what's going on?" How do you know you want the same person who has traveled back in time to raise yourself twice? <gasps> Ooh. How do how do we, any of us know that? How do we know? So the same person who traveled back in time to raise yourself twice. Well, I guess we know because I'm adopted. Ooh, that's a good indicator. Yeah. But maybe we should have a test to make sure that none of us are time travelers. Okay, okay. what's the best way to figure that out? Is it sort of like the Turing test? The Alan Turing test? Yes. But, but for time travelers? Yes. Hmm, okay. So, who here has been chemically castrated? Me. Right here. <laughs> Me too. Well, I well, guess it's not possible then. There we go. That's I mean, that's it happened to me because I'm a sex offender. <laughs> it happened to me because... Wait, hell, that didn't happen to me. Did it? Tracy, have you been Am chemically I your mom? castrated? <laughs> I wasn't chemically castrated. I was, um, it was done with radiology. Oh, no. Are you barren, dear? You can't have children? Ever? Um, uh, I don't know yet, but I haven't tried having really sex yet. Tracy, do you want to have children? Do you want to be a mom? I think I'd be a good mom, yeah. I think I'd be a really great mom because you know why? I have the instinct to walk the cradle. Oh, you my, have hands that would rock my the cradle? My hand wants to walk the cradle real bad. I, it just gets that cradle walking feeling every once in a while. Mm-hmm. I think it's my time clock ticking, you know? Mm. So <laughs> do you just find yourself just sort of moving it back and forth yeah, like you're rocking so a cradle? I'll just move a chair back and forth, and I'll be like, wish there was a baby in there. Mm. This is something, Rogers, that you'll never understand because you're male and also you're not technically a person. Mm. 
Well, that, I suppose, brings us to the end of another episode of Generations. Boy, our second episode. Uh, We end every episode with a prayer. Yep. Say it together. And join hands, everyone. Tracy, you join hands, Your hand is so furry, Dad. Well, what do you want me to do about it? (laughs) I've never prayed before because I don't believe in religion. Thoughts? Oh, well, we believe in a religion after fashion. Of course, Norse mythology is big in our house. Yeah, definitely. We should pray to probably Odin. Yeah, he's the best one. Okay. (laughs) You can pray to Odin from the Marvel movies, Anthony Hopkins, if you like. Never seen him, never will. Hmm. (laughs) He played Hannibal Lecter. Does that help? You can pray to him. Oh, that's right. You don't watch movies. I forget. No. Was he in Blue Jasmine? No, he wasn't. No. I have no frame of reference for you. Why wasn't Anthony Hopkins in Blue Jasmine? He should have been. Well, that's a question. Instead of Andrew Dice time. Clay? <laughs> I mean, Dice was fine, but I, I prefer the old Dice. Oh, I mean, hickory dickory dock, bitch. <laughs> okay. okay. The mouse straight up the clock, bitch. Uh, okay, okay, Rogers, please. Let's not get that's into it. That's the one another, thing we bond over. Let's not get into an extended <laughs> Dice Man impression off like we do every episode. For once, let's not do this. We did it last week, our first episode. <laughs> Two hours long. Did we establish it was our first episode last week? <laughs> yeah, this is our second episode. <laughs> did we mention that? Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, I'll lead. You know I'm elderly, so I don't remember things. And I'm young, I don't remember things. And I have amnesia, That's so right. I don't remember things. Memory's not our strong suit, listeners. So Let's this pray. might be our 400th episode. <laughs> sure, we don't know. All Let's Father pray. Odin. All Father, All Father Odin. Odin. We look into your one eye. We, we look into your, your one eye. We beseech you to care for us. We, we beseech, beseech you, you to, to care, care for us. Please don't strike us with your lightning. Please don't strike us with your lightning. I like you. I like like you. you. Do you like me? Do you like me? Well, see you in the funny papers. Well, see you in the funny papers. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Go fuck yourselves. (laughs) Mom. Language. Into the trap door with me. Come here, bears! Three off! And this is something that I am going to call switch it and pitch it. Okay. Switch it and pitch it. All right. So uh, the the person to your right will will uh, (laughs) Paul (laughs) will name a television show. Okay. Okay. This sounds easy. And then what you have to I can think of five right now. (laughs) Okay, but it doesn't end there. (laughs) Oh man, now you're nervous. So we'll we'll start with Lauren naming a television show to you, Paul, mm-hmm. and uh, you will then have to say uh, the opposite. Every word is the opposite title. So if if she were to say home improvement, you would say workplace destruction. Okay. You okay. Know, and then you would have to pitch that show to us, uh, the characters, boy, oh boy. The, the setting, what All happens right. every week, and okay. then you'll see if we buy it or not. And what the winner gets a week. show. And the winner, yes. <laughs> they have the winner actually gets a show on CISO. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, let me think. Um... So the well, sharkies, were they? So wait, here's my question. What was yeah. my new Because not every spell. show says like words. So is it like, can you make it like the opposite of what the show is? Not every show says well, words. Well, you, you know you, what I mean? You can in the pitch. You, like if you were to say workplace destruction, you could say, okay, Tim Tooltime Taylor is so... Uh, he he finally blows up his garage and, you know, like you can do... But, but when I'm saying you say the opposite title, you just like... Okay, okay, okay. Do the best you can. Family matters. Family matters. Uh, <laughs> hey, so it's great to see you, Paul. So Thank we're you. very excited <laughs> about this Can't show that you have her. Thanks. decided to pitch us. So, Thank you. Uh, Thank you for the water, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah a little That's t- a dollar if you want to give us that. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was, I assumed it was complimentary. Why um, would you assume it's, co- you don't go to a restaurant and people give, give you, you free water, free water? <laughs> or well, chips? <laughs> What's your idea? What's your idea? Oh, Just say we it. We don't have time oh, okay. anymore. Well, it's a uh, it's a sitcom. Okay. Okay. And it's called mm. <laughs> a title. Okay. 
friend antimatters. Friend antimatters. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. It is about a group of friends. Okay. Who are scientists. Oh, and they are I like studying it. almost like the Big Bang Theory people grown up or something. <laughs> well, it's it's a little different than that because okay. first of all, those people are grown up. <laughs> hmm. But I like that show and was almost ready to buy it. Oh. But okay, so it's different. <laughs> well, it's different. I, I've you know it's it's but it's similar in a lot of ways because <laughs> you know the dynamics are 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 a lot of fun. You have um, who are the characters? Who do we have? There's there's four characters. Hmm. There's. Uh, Ranjo. Ranjo. Ranjo is the chief scientist. Mm. Wait, and is that an Indian name? Is that why you're saying he's the chief scientist? Well, it's open to diverse casting. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. So Ranjo, oh, Ranjo. Um, he's in charge of the laboratory. Oh. Are you are you trying to play the part? <laughs> are you you're doing my Robin <laughs> Williams impression? <laughs> oh, Ranjo. You're doing the, oh, Ranjo. the applause meter? <laughs> yep. <laughs> You weren't getting much. Uh, well, I got <laughs> your yeah. control. It was the perilously close to the elbow. <laughs> well, I guess because why would people applaud just at the name Ranjo? Oh, Ranjo. Oh, Ranjo. <laughs> Ranjo. Oh, why isn't this on video? Ranjo. Why? Why isn't it? So Ranjo is he's like the sort of center of the show, and he's mm. like a everyman, you know, regular guy. But he's sure. a scientist who's trying to uh, use um, uh, antimatter to explore an alternate universe. Whoa! So and, and his friends help him with this? Well, not as much as he would like. Oh, I bet. Okay. Uh -huh. Because his um, best friend and uh, right-hand lady, mm. uh, Maris, she is, mm. uh, you know, this uh, beautiful, but doesn't know it. Oh, got to <laughs> be. Oh. That's perfect. She's super hot, has no idea. She has thinks no idea. she's ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she's but really she has, annoying to be around. Yeah, she's constantly <laughs> saying, I'm a hideous hag. Mm. And then that's always a huge laugh because the other characters are like, you know, cuckoo, she's crazy. Yep. Um, that's she's obviously relatable. super hot. Huge yeah. tits. And uh -huh. then... <laughs> so, I mean, you haven't cast it yet. That's just... Haven't cast it that yet. That has to be part of the yes. role. Yes, and they have to wear a tight white tank top to the audition. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, and, tight, and white jeans. Okay. This is... <laughs> and they have has to, to be on her so period. That's, <laughs> so that's the only... So are you going to be at the auditions? I could be. We weren't expecting that, but Yeah, it feels we like haven't even bought it. Yeah. Sounds like you're close to buying it, though. Well, I'm just asking some questions that yeah, will but I'll be, I'll be at every audition. Okay. And then... Um, then, uh, the, and so, oh, so Ranjo and, and Maris have a, like a will they or won't they okay, kind great. of dynamic. You Do know. they or don't they? Well, we'll see. Mm. So then um, the other two characters. Midway through the first episode or? Yeah, it'll all be. <laughs> you can't tell for the first 10 minutes. <laughs> for the first 10 minutes, will they or will won't they? they? And then they oh, just Minute 11, fuck. they do. Yes. Great. And then. But 20 minutes of porn. That's right. Oh, I love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Sold. Which brings in our other characters. Oh. Um, Carithers. Carithers. Who is, he's like this stuffy office jerk, you know. Oh, he's like always yeah. by the book. And then. Which um, book? Which book? The good book, the Bible. Oh, okay, so yeah, he's very the holy religious. Bible. He's ex he's Got extremely it. devout. Which I think now that the country is kind of heading more into a conservative direction with thank President God, Donald Trump, God, yes. um, that this will be a popular character because mm -hmm. they look like, great. Although there's a bunch of porn on there, at least there is a Bible loving, God fearing man who's watching these people have sex, mm -hmm. right, and enjoying it. Yeah. Then polar opposite mm -hmm. of Carithers he's in a different pole. No, they're, I meant, um, I, like, they're all in the same Wait, place. Wait, they're all Polish? No, they're all. They hang from poles. I, I, didn't ex I didn't expect to have to explain this phrase, but. I've never heard this just, before in my life. It just means that someone's very, they're the complete opposite in personality from someone. Oh, okay, yeah. interesting. Okay. I'm going to start saying that. So the. Yeah. Hey, Lauren, you're the polar opposite of me. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> very good. So, I'm so close to buying this. Tie okay. it up. Tie so, it up. So, Carithers, Stuffy, buy the book. Mm -hmm. The opposite of Carithers mm -hmm. is our final character, mm. Marved. Marved. Marved mm. is a real fucking slob. Ah. He's dumb. He's fat. Carithers will hate that. Carithers hates him, but they're really good friends. And there is an ah. episode where they get trapped in an elevator together. That's oh, wait, wait. funny. In, in the alternate universe? Like Beyonce. I, I don't want to spoil it for you. Oh, okay. 
But it happens when? In like minute two of the first episode? Yes, when they get to the alternate universe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Great. Um, I, I, you know, I don't think it's a buy it in the room situation. No, but it's a buy it Well, tomorrow. then let's walk outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's walk outside. <laughs> so you're going to buy this tomorrow. Yeah, isn't it weird that Scott walks on two goat hooves? <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to say anything. I thought those were weird shoes. Yeah. I'm a descendant of Pan. <laughs> oh, I thought it was maybe that... You wanted some cool shoes, and your mom got you like an off-brand. Fuck version. you! <laughs> All right, let's buy it. Thank buy you. It. Buy it. Congratulations. Very good. All right, is it my turn? Uh, well, then Paul, I think. Oh, Paul. It. Okay. Paul gives me a yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see. Show title that then someone has to come up with the opposite of. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think I've got it. Mm-hmm. Great. Sixty minutes. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, who? Okay, hi guys. Uh, thank you so much for seeing me. Oh, hi. I'm sorry we're sorry. so late. Do you validate the parking? No, oh. no. In fact, you have to give us some money for parking. Yeah, pay us, and then we'll pay the valet guys, and then you also pay the valet guys. Um, then you get to write it off at the oh. end. Of the sorry that we're late. We so just sorry. we were killing time, just not killing to be on time. time. You yeah. know what's interesting about that is I'm here to pitch you a show about killing time in oh, a way. Really? So this will really tie into what you've been doing all day. Okay. This is off to a great start. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. excited. This is a uh, a show. Show that uh, it's a reality-based show. Uh huh. Um, we're listening. Okay. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. That ties in with I'm going to be speaking, so that's great. Uh, this is a show called Six Hundred Years. Hmm. Six Hundred Years. Okay. And provocative title. Yes. Now, uh, you, you may be wondering, okay, what is this show going to be about? Is it sort of a documentary about the last six hundred years? No, it's a show that literally takes six hundred years to watch. Wow. Hmm. So you can never finish. You can binge forever. You can finish when at the end of 600 years, definitely. So does this depend on the audience living to be over 600 yes, years old? Yes, I believe with the singularity and with life expectancies growing longer and longer, eventually we're going to transfer our consciousnesses into computers and we're going to be really, really bored unless there's something to watch for that amount of time. So um, what I'm proposing is obviously we don't have the ability to uh, make the episode 600 years right now, um, and we can't do it as it's airing. Uh, so I think uh, what I'm proposing is we need teams of – we need 600 teams making each hour – at simultaneously, and when they put it together, we'll put it together, and it'll last for 600 years. That's smart. I love it. Okay, so it's a reality show. Yes. About what? Well, it's Oh, a, good point. It's a reality show uh, about <laughs> what happens uh, to people uh, every day. Day takes place in an actual day, so it's set in real time. It's kind of like every day takes place in an actual day. in an actual day. So, so it's not a fake day. No, no, definitely not. It's it's like Jack Bauer on steroids. Oh, oh. Yeah. Jack Jack. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like you know how uh, Jack Bauer he he twenty four big hit yeah he Jack Bauer he twenty four <laughs> he twenty four big Jack hit Jack Bauer he twenty four big hit <laughs> he twenty four big hit you so, like <laughs> you like you like you like Jack Bauer he twenty four big hit you you like so <laughs> so but why not twenty five he twenty four <laughs> why not why not Jack Bauer twenty five. Wow. Why Jack not Bauer, Jack Bauer 26? Whoa. <laughs> this six, Bigger hit. 600 years. Jack Bauer, he's 600. He's a year. <laughs> yes. It stars Jack Bauer, if you're asking. Okay, but so it's he's a reality show. <laughs> yes. so the real Jack Bauer will be in this. We're we're gonna we're gonna go through the phone book and we're gonna find every person named Jack Bauer okay. in the phone book. All right, Scott, let me stop you there because um, this does sound intriguing. No. Um, so <laughs> no, no, you're well, not, I'm not gonna let, let, me, let me stop, stop you. There. Let me stop you here. Yes. Okay. What were you gonna say? Thank you. <laughs> so the first season is 600 years. Mm-hmm. What happens in the second? season? That's the first episode. The first episode of 600 years. Yeah, each each season is – How many episodes total? We're going to do, like, do like a Netflix kind of like 10 or 13, you okay. know, real shortened season. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like British television, you know, where people can really wrap their minds around. So it could be like 6,000 years. Yeah, it's probably going to be about 6,000 years. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. And Jack Bauer – Jack Bauer, uh, he'll put he his brain 24. into a into a computer. He twenty four big hit. <laughs> he, 
honestly, that's all I need. <laughs> e24 big hit? Yeah, because right. you're right. You know? <laughs> and when you're right, you're right. I'm buying it. Well, uh, let me ask this. Yeah. Can we call it Jack Bauer E24 big hit? <laughs> all right, fine. Look. All right. <laughs> I did it. Wow. Congrats. Sold Congrats. under Congrats. the room. Let's go downstairs. <laughs> under the room. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right. Now it's my turn All to right. come up. Okay, now my turn. My turn to come up with something for Lauren. <clears throat> um, All right, here we go. I'm preparing. Chips. Mm. Okay. Okay. Hey, okay. you guys. Hi. Um, I'm so delighted to be back Thanks for here. coming early. Yeah, I'm always early. I, I know 5.45 a.m. is a weird time to pitch something, but. <laughs> yeah, well, it is a little weird. I was wondering um, if you typically do that. Yeah, um, you know, we like to work sort of, uh, we don't we don't like to hit traffic when we come into the office. I like so to be we, home by noon. It did make it really easy to get yeah. here. Yeah, we're our third a, pitch today. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. okay. This is the last um, thing we're doing today. We're on our way out. <laughs> well, So sorry if we're a little antsy and looking at the clock. But, no, uh, I, I'll try to get through this quickly okay. um so my idea is a show mm. and it's called potatoes <laughs> That's a good start oh wait. potatoes well potatoes. it's called it's called potatoes comma whole potatoes commas <laughs> comma whole potatoes Potatoes, comma whole potatoes. that's and interesting is it sort of like a chips situation it is but it's so the, this is an acronym it's the pair yes. <laughs> what's it stand for so it stands for people over the age that Originally, mm-hmm. 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 Um, Run exists. <laughs> People over the age that originally exist. Sometimes. Sometimes. Comma. Comma. <laughs> women. However. Mm, women. However. Only. So another comma. Only. Live. Mm, if, eternally. Mm. And then the first part. Again. Then the first part again. <laughs> Interesting. So, so people over the age, age originally originally exist. Women, comma, women, women, however, 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 only live eternally. Only, only live, live eternally. eternally. So, Interesting. So this is about ex- uh, existence itself. Yeah. So it's really. Um, this is like a nerd situation. No one ever really dies. Like a Pharrell type thing. Um, yeah, if that's something you're interested in, it can definitely be... Are nerds in it? Yes. Mm, um, like Big Bang Theory. There's one, oh, yeah. there's one nerd. But adults. Um, so it takes... So basically what it is, is it's um, a bunch of cops, mm. and they're the original cops. So it's... Um, is cops an acronym as well? Yes. It is uh, can't only perpetrate... Strangers. Oh, that's good. That that's is true. A good tip for cops. It is. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Sometimes you have to arrest someone you know. You can't. That's, that's going to be an uncomfortable strangers. situation. That's true. And that's that true. and that's part of what we're getting into. So it's really yeah. just these old, yeah. old original cops. The original are, cops, like the first and, people who were ever police, people? and they're still doing it. Okay. And Interesting. They. How old are they? They're. Oh, oh what time is it set in? It's set of, de- of day. It's set at noon. <laughs> Every episode I, is I, at noon. I love that. <laughs> yeah, so because all, I love that. You, you're home watching lunch. TV That's by right. then. That's and right. they're always on their lunch Ready break. Ready to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> and the cops are always on lunch, so they're off duty. But then oh. something will happen, and they'll realize they'll have to step in. So um, so they're primarily off duty unless they witness a crime. <laughs> and then they have to go, well, no what one else is going to solve that this. <laughs> wow. What a great job that sounds. Yeah, that sounds a great job. Um, that sounds great job. Can I ask, is Jack Bauer involved? In this. Oh, tw- he's 24. He's 24. <laughs> He'd be in it, yes. <laughs> um, you know, and so it's about a group, and there's 10 of them, and they all link wow. arms and walk around town together, and they go and have lunch. Wow. And of course, they have donuts. They link arms <laughs> walking around town unless they witness a crime, or do they then arrest the perpetrators? No, then they link arms, arms and create a circle around the bad guy oh, uh, okay. until they intimidate him into putting on his own handcuffs. So walking around mm-hmm. town, straight line, yeah. linked arms. Then they complete the circle. Yes. Okay, got it. Now, do people refer to them on the show as potatoes, whole potatoes? <laughs> we never hear that word ever. Which one? Potatoes. P- they will say whole because that just is a word you use more often. Right, like, we'll never... like hey, fill my holes. <laughs> yeah. or Stick it in the hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes me comfortable in this meeting. Um, yeah. Um, you know, yeah, fill my holes. W-H-O-L-E-S. Yeah, that's <laughs> That's, that's right. So whatever it takes to sell it here is fine. Um, so yeah, fill your holes. I, I hope that happens to you both. Um, um, bless you, bless you, bless you. Um, 
And if we can just buy it here. <laughs> but then- is there a season long arc? Uh, yeah, there's a season long arc. Um, mm. The arc is basically that one character you'll find. His name is McGuff. Mm. He, mm. Um, he is he a human, um, or is he some sort of crime dog? He's <laughs> or crime potato. Well, um, he's half human, half dog. Oh, which half mm. is he? A dog? Uh, the ear. <laughs> the ear half. How big are these ears? <laughs> so no. So basically, the two outsides of his body are dog. The two outsides the two of his body. He's like Neapolitan body. ice cream. Oh, I see. Okay. But so two chocolates and a vanilla. Dog like a, section, human section, dog, dog section. section. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's human. Yeah, got it. Mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. I like it. Um, but but side by so, side as opposed to front, middle, So it's, wait, back. so the nose is human. If you cut him down the center, um, it will be exactly the same as what you see on the outside. I see. So nose human, uh, belly button human, genitals human. He's got a human penis. Mm. Um, but he's been neutered. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. okay. Because that do- the dog uh, sections of him would not be able to control his human penis. He basically had one child with a dog uh, who was three parts dog, mm. and he made out of three? McGruff the crime oh. fighting dog. Oh, so his dad. McGuff is McGruff's father. Yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. Got okay. It. All okay. right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, okay. So, are, yeah, I don't have to get your holes filled. Are you guys going to buy this or <laughs> no? Okay. Okay. No, I'm not no, no, interested. No. Not fine. interested at all. Is it something I said or just the whole pitch? Well, I when we said that sexy thing about getting your holes filled, we kind of expected this to devolve into – I mean, it's the last pitch of the day. Oh. We kind of thought that something would happen. And, I'm also worried we're never going to get the rights to McGruff. Yeah, that's a big part of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's so inherent to the pitch. Yeah, I mean, was, I, don't I think kind you of could threw it in it there out. at the last second. I – I, no, I it's think such it's a big part of it in, mar- in our minds. It's such a big part of it in our How minds. do you know? You haven't discussed? I, we, we have the same brain. <laughs> yeah, we share that our brain. Sense. They should make a show about us. <laughs> hey, we should make a show about us. <laughs> I'll do it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> that you should make a show about yourself? <laughs> yeah, of course I am. We have the same brain. And that's how we go. play <laughs> Switch It and Pitch It. Oh, that was fun. That was oh, fun. Right. Good segment, Scott. Thanks. We'll be right back with this show. <laughs> this show <laughs> is back. We're back. I'm a giant. I, everyone's short to me. I pick up a cow and just squeeze it into my mouth for milk. And, and for hamburgers <laughs> as well. And you don't care what comes out? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I can't taste it. It's anything. usually blood and bile. My taste buds are gigantic. <laughs> I eat a rock. The country. Oh, no. Like a rock. <laughs> oh, like a rock. Jack Bauer, he 24. He big money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have a segment. What okay. do you got, Paul? This is a segment where... Here's a little story I like to tell about three bad brothers you know so well. You must describe a famous scene from a famous movie, Mm. but describe it in a way that it is hard to guess what the scene is, what the movie is. Okay. 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 Uh, Very good. Very good. Awesome. Very good. Okay. Um, okay, wait, I'm thinking. Okay, I'll probably do this poorly. Okay. And do, um, we, do we get points if we guess, or there's not points, it's just a thing that we're doing? It's just a thing that we're doing, Okay, man. got it. Oh, uh, how do you describe it? Oh, okay. Um, okay. A bunch of males. Mmm. You've got my attention. I mean, you know synonyms, so I don't know how I'm going to do it. <laughs> you know synonyms. <laughs> um, okay. It's, I'm going to do it like a poem. Winter's cold. <laughs> Winter's cold. Brushes upon them. They Brush struggle. Brush or, or? Just or, let me do my poem. Okay. They struggle. For attention. Captain America, Civil War. The, yeah, yeah, that's good. Keep guessing as I'm going. Um, long hat. 
long hat. Fur hat. Glasses. Squinty eyed teen. Spies like us. Looks like a fox. One. One is bold enough to try the task at hand. It's cold out. (laughs) Winter is cold. The task requires a body part to be shown. Uh, Do you know it? uh, And they, it is above the neck. Stuck out to touch the ice cold pole. Oh, a Christmas story. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was fun. Okay. <laughs> you sounded insane. <laughs> Long hat. I still feel like I'm you sound describing like, it so clearly. You sound like you're like the psychic in minority report <laughs> <laughs> describing a crime that you've seen. <laughs> okay, your turn or somebody. Scott. Ooh, I'll go heavens. last. I do not have an example, by the way. Um... Do I have to do it like Lauren, or do I just... No, I, okay. I think it's up to you. <laughs> All right. Um, a family is sitting around uh, their breakfast nook, but it's not breakfast. It's actually uh, family supper time. And um, the mother is a single mother. She's trying to wrangle her children and just trying to make it through another family dinner she obviously ha- didn't have a lot of time to prepare it, uh, but she's done her best. Um, e. She- e.T. Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to the Reese's Pieces. <laughs> oh, my God. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. Good. All right. Let's see. Oh, R2-D2. Star Wars. Shit. All right. Um. Getting acquainted. Getting to know you. (laughs) King of. (laughs) Conversation gets personal, Mm. but also remains professional. Dinner with Andre. (laughs) My dinner with (laughs) Remains professional, but gets personal. Mm -hmm. Um, Hobbies are discussed. Hmm. Past adventures. Before sunrise. Nope. Mm, they, I guess it's not professional. It's not professional. They, they were not <laughs> that was strictly for fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, advice is given. Mm. Professional S- advice? Secrets are revealed. Oh. <gasps> Chorus <What>? line. No. <laughs> No. Sort of, though. Keep going. <laughs> sort of. Though. Oh, so if it applies to, sort of though. I'm, I'm just to another way. movie, I have to, well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I can't I argue with that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the movie I was thinking of, but, <laughs> but you I inadvertently described another movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, fear. Mm. Control. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Uh, what's that Barbara Streisand movie where she goes to the psychiatrist? Not the one I'm thinking of. Damn it. But n- Nuts? Nuts is what I'm thinking of. Is that good? Um, these are good. I'm <laughs> <get> my balls. <laughs> it really works on a podcast. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it would have been better if I said, is nuts good? These nuts. <laughs> These nuts are good. Is nuts good? Is, These nuts is good. Jack Bauer, he 24. <laughs> <laughs> big hit. He big hit. <laughs> he okay, big. wait. I keep going. Um, Advice is given. Tell us about the people. Fear. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, uh, basic instinct? Nope. Mm. Is it a man and a woman? Yes, it is. One person makes a request. Mm. Of the other. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> no. When a man loves a woman. No. Keep going. Failure to launch. Uh, Famous mm. movie everyone loves. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that I've seen many times. 
This is creepy. Someone is someone is sized up. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Wouldn't that be sized down? Honey, I blew up the kids. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. Semen is thrown in someone's hair. <laughs> oh, it's about Mary. <laughs> What? Then what other movie is there where semen is thrown? In There's one hair? other famous semen semen scene? in the hair movie. <laughs> uh, Louis C.K. documentary. <laughs> um, I am bl- I'm, I'm drawing a blank on semen movies. That's the only one I remember. Um, semen is thrown in the hair. <laughs> Semen, someone threw semen in a hair and is, is it like like a dinner with Andre? Someone threw semen in a hair. <laughs> someone threw a semen in a hair? Is it like someone threw a semen in a hair? <laughs> Tell us more. God. Who's Eight in it? Ages, I can't believe actors. that took it away. Um, so, man and a woman. Oh, sperm and the whale? Sperm, sperm and, and the, the whale. whale. Oh, sperm and the whale. <laughs> 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 she was so I confident. Whale, but the kid put sperm on uh, uh, books. Books. Oh, he That's did. That's right. Yeah. Uh-huh. He jerks off and he rubs the spunk on the books. Oh, it's really nasty. It, it's it nasty. nasty. it is nasty. It's nasty. It is nasty. It is nasty. 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 Welcome to this nasty podcast. Is talk. Aware of how often I say nasty? <laughs> a lot. I like okay, it. Okay, wait. We need more. Jesus. How much semen? Who are the people? Just enough. What's the consistency? Older man, younger woman. Uh, oh, wait. Not Oleana or something like that. <laughs> no. Okay. I don't, yeah. It's something I might know. The older man is not the one who puts the semen in the hair. He puts the semen in the hair. Puts <laughs> is it the Silence of the Lambs? In- yes. It is? Yes. What? When does he throw? Oh, God, I guess I haven't seen that in a while. When she goes to visit him That probably annoys prison, so many people listening. One of the other, oh, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, one, one of the of, other inmates throws, uh, throws semen in her hair. Oh, yeah. I don't remember I don't that. Know. I saw that when I was too young to probably understand what was happening. See it again. <laughs> I will. I'd love to. <laughs> and then he t- he talks the guy into killing himself later because it was, oh, it was rude. It was rude to do. <laughs> yes. If that's all it takes. Does it he was throw rude it, to do. Does he throw it with his penis? It was rude to do, boo. No, with his hands. Okay, so he completes. Throw with his penis. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you! I guess game. I guess you're the winner, Paul, because it took us way too long. I feel like it was a bad game. I, no, I think it was good. I'm the loser because I guess. Well, I guess how many movies really have single mothers in it? It's it's no. underrepresented. Alice doesn't no, live here anymore. I was just really good at guessing that one because I was picturing <laughs> on the breakfast nooks and mm. really oh. all the famous cinematic breakfast nooks. There aren't that many. There aren't that many. Bre- you're right. There should be more breakfast nooks yeah. in cinema. They're underrepresented. What was the story with the dad in that movie? I, do they ever even mention him being gone? Or I do don't they know d- if they talk about. I think she's on the. I think the mom might be dealing with some stuff related to him, but they don't. The kids. It's don't. the kind of subtlety that Spielberg like sort of jettisoned after a while. He used to do a lot of overlapping Altman-esque dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he also used to be kind of subtle about stuff like that. Nowadays, you know, or not nowadays, but in his middle period, his hook period, he would have like you know a, a <laughs> giant you know zoom in dolly shot on her like going the the dad's the dad left. Or something. The dad the left. left. <laughs> Her husband. The dad Jack, Jack, left. Jack Bauer. The, the dad. Person, the person that she was in a relationship with, who she now only refers to as the dad. <laughs> the dad left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, guys. Well, this has been fun. I think Another. Hey, we're back. Uh, and Jesus. oh, frightening. Everyone, frightening listeners. Hey, boo! It's frightening. We're back. Uh, Lauren, you've probably played this, but I brought some, some plays here. Oh. And we're going to do that game where one person reads uh, actual lines from a play and then the other two uh, improv That's fun. around I, it. Well, I have done the show Gravid Water at UCB. Have you ever seen that show? I've never seen it, no. They do that. So you have an actor... Uh, one character's lines of a scene, and then mm-hmm. the improviser knows nothing about it. It's something that it's so I saw fun. when I was uh, 18 or something. I saw this improv group that my friends were in. I saw them do it, and it's like the hardest I've ever laughed. This, uh, we're setting it, us, <laughs> ourselves up for a terrible, 
Uh, but uh, I, I've never, I've never seen it with three people. But I assume that two people can do it while one person reads lines, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. I mean, I don't see why not. So I, so I brought three plays, three different plays, and mm-hmm. so I'll, I'll read the lines first, and you guys can. How's, how's this usually start, Lauren? Well, it usually is the person's memorized. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, who gives a shit? We're I'm, on the podcast. Well, Scott, are we going to do this right or are we going <laughs> to half-ass mean, it? That's how it starts. <laughs> um, no, but I guess you just – you start? Yeah. But tell, okay. us, tell us if we need to like be um, – Wait, will it work with three people? Yeah, because I'll just say lines and then you guys play other people. I don't know. Who knows? We'll let's just it. try it. Let's try it. Uh, this is it's uh, not okay. going to work. Well, this. <laughs> well, maybe it should be. Maybe it should be two people, and then we'll do two different people. All right. Let's just see how it works. If if someone wants to join in, okay. you can. Um, this is for, uh, Biloxi Blues by Neil Simon. I'm going to play Epstein. Um, and uh, here we go. Okay. The army has its logic. I have my own. Okay, well, are you going to come outside because everyone's waiting for you, and we we really don't want to start unless everyone's there. Since I'm not guilty of a crime, I reserve the privilege to keep my own motives a matter of confidentiality. You keep saying you're not guilty, but you you know what? Everyone out there thinks you are, okay? I'm not trying to beat you, Sergeant. I'm trying to work with you. It doesn't feel that way. It feels like you're actually trying to fuck with me. I don't think it's necessary to dehumanize a man to get him to perform. You You can get better results raising our spirits than lowering our dignity. This is... You can't turn it around on me. Because I know that you did! No, you... I saw you take it! I didn't want anyone to see that, okay? That was a personal experience. I think inventing a crime that didn't exist to enforce your theories of discipline is Neanderthal in its conception. I didn't invent anything. Something actually happened out there, and you know what it was, okay? Egyptian kings made their slaves obedient. Eventually, they lost their slaves and their kingdom. Just because I didn't go to college doesn't mean you can pull this shit on me, okay? I don't care what you know about Egypt. It should be an interesting contest, Sergeant. Let's get out there, and I'm going to spit farther than you, and that's the plan, okay? And whoever doesn't doesn't spit far enough is going to be sleeping under the fucking trenches. After I crush <laughs> your testicles, you can replace them with They're cotton balls. They're gone already. <laughs> and see. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. All right. Here, yeah. Here's yours. Okay. You'll do it with Paul, I, I assume? Hi, I'm Paul. Yes. Okay, and you have the play? Angels in America. Perestroika. Like Tony Kushner. Uh, let me find a... Let me find a real good one. Find a real good one. Okay. <clears throat> so Lauren is going to be doing the lines from Angels in America. Perestroika. Perestroika. And Paul will be <clears throat> improvising around her. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ring, rings around her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be so much worse than I'd imagined. (laughs) Oh, I didn't realize. (laughs) Such a good actress. I know. Thank you. Really convinced him. Oh, this is going to be so much worse than I'd imagined. Well, your imagination is nothing compared to mine. And what I'm imagining is off the charts horrible. Fuck you, you little shitbag. Hey. Just because you're jealous of my imaginary skills doesn't mean that you can talk to me that way. Don't see any bruises. Well, not every bruise is visible because some are emotional like you inflicted on me. You are one noble guy inside. Don't flatter yourself, Lewis. So it's your tea party. Talk. Okay. First of all, thank you for coming to the tea party. (laughs) <laughs> Secondly, thank you for saying the thing about nobility. I don't get how I'm just noble inside. I feel like that's just what nobility is. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're saying I don't look noble, which is an insult, I guess. But anyway. Talk. Let, <laughs> I'm getting to it. <laughs> let me pour you some tea. <laughs> Make up. Okay. <laughs> I, I, this is a tea party. This is not... We agreed that we were just going to come, like, just fresh out of the shower. We weren't going (laughs) to doll ourselves up. It was going to be a casual tea party for some friends. Uh Uh-huh. But 
Okay, here it comes. <laughs> so I can't do anything without you assuming I have an ulterior motive. Yes, I invited you over to have a no makeup tea party. <laughs> and yes, I do have an ulterior motive, which is I want you to go in on a business with me. It isn't. Yes, it is what I'm telling you. <laughs> it is, it is, we're going to open up a frozen yogurt franchise. <laughs> The two of us. You were saying something about being reasonable. Yeah, this is entirely reasonable. <laughs> this is, this is, I'm telling you, this is a license to print money. People love Froyo. You want to come back. Why? Okay, I don't know if you're paying attention to what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm moving back to this town to, first of all, host these regular tea parties, <laughs> no makeup tea parties, but also to open up a frozen yogurt franchise with you, my best friend. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. I've already s <laughs> signed a lease. <laughs> You're seeing someone else. Okay. I am seeing other realtors because... You I'm are. Yes, I want to open multiple franchises. <laughs> Threshold of revelation. Now, ask me how I know he's a Mormon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How do you know he's a Mormon? How? Yeah, you you wanted me to ask you. Is he a Mormon? Yes, how is he a Mormon? Fuck you, I'm a prophet. What? Scene! <laughs> hey! Ah, <laughs> oh, very good. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. Now, Paul, you have another, you have a different play. I do. Well, now I have two plays, you have Scott. two plays. Oh. I have The Caretaker and The Dumbwaiter, two plays by Harold Pinter. Mm. Both With, starring Webster. Are the, <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Didn't he go up and down in a dumbwaiter? <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. A dumbwaiter? Why would that? Because he was small? Yeah. But still, who has a dumbwaiter? It was in the 20th century. <laughs> yeah. We had a dumbwaiter at Chin Chin when I worked there. My friend actually, their parents, her parents designed their house, and they built in a dumbwaiter from the garage to the upstairs kitchen so you could load groceries. Oh, well, of course. Oh, I have interesting. A, I have a dumbwaiter in my house, too. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> we all have dumbwaiters. Everyone has dumbwaiters. I have a waiter who's dumb. <laughs> oh, shit. It is a really emasculating name for a thing that's cool. Yeah. Like, it makes you not want to put one into your house. Yeah. Dumbwaiter. Mm -hmm. Well, what it means is it's a mute waiter. It's a waiter that cannot speak. So right. it sounds like a perfect waiter. <laughs> it's, mm. ab it's able to. <laughs> I cannot stand waiter humor, by the way. <laughs> we had a like you have we had no a, patience for we it. Had I guess you didn't like that too much. <laughs> we had a server. <laughs> no, I I just mean uh, humor that servers do. No, he because was doing I, that's it. That's what I was doing. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that you were saying I didn't like your joke that you made. <sighs> now I'm saying that. No, like I when you finished like your plate and they're like, hmm, I guess you hated it, huh? <laughs> yeah. So I did. I did a stand-up character that was a, a, a waiter who had, who was trying stand-up for the first time, and he was just doing waiter <laughs> humor. <laughs> and it was a lot like that. Anyway, Somebody okay. That's like a good one. A friend of mine. I can't remember who told me this. That when they when the waiter says that to them, I guess he didn't like that too much. His response always is to be extremely sincere. And apologetically, no, actually, no, I liked it I, a lot. I, I, in fact, I ate. Look, I ate the whole I thing. I ate it all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, let's see. This is, well, let's go with the first play, which is The Caretaker. The Caretaker. This is addressed to Vivian. This is dedicated to Vivian. <laughs> uh, okay, so our performance will be to Vivian <laughs> as well. It's also to Vivian. Um, <laughs> and anyone <clears throat> named Vivian? Yeah, even fictional characters. Sure. Like Vivian from I The Young Ones. I played Vivian Krill in Jurassic World. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Was that your character's yes. name? <laughs> Vivian Krill. <laughs> It was on wow. my badge. <laughs> Krill. Is that the only reason that anyone would know that name is because it was on the badge? Or did anyone Probably, call you Probably. I don't Vivian? think anyone. Um, Vivian was. I don't know if anyone says my name in the movie. Vivian Krill. Get over no here. No one says Krill, though, for mm. sure. Mm. All right. I think I found a good one. Oh, that's okay. A, okay. I got to make sure I'm not the character with like the gigantic monologue. Right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, yes. Here we go. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Family of Indians live there. A family of Indians live there? I mean, I 
expected one or two, but a whole family. That's incredible. I don't see much of them. <laughs> you don't see much of them? That I mean, uh, that could be expected. I mean, you know, they're not really known for hanging out outside. Shoes? <laughs> Well, yeah, because they don't have shoes normally, so they they tend to stay inside, <laughs> and because they can get rocks in their feet, and it's just very difficult. So I, it's very understandable. So I I get it. Where? <laughs> <laughs> at, the, at their houses, obviously. Uh, so no, I get it. it's. There's no need to be defensive about not seeing your neighbors. I I understand because you know I don't talk to my neighbors all that much either. So everyone tends to just stay inside. You know. I might have a pair. You, yeah, I mean, you could definitely get a pair of shoes. I think it would be, it would definitely protect your feet. I mean, I'm looking down at those and they're, they're bloody and, um, you know, really disgusting. And you could also stand to cut your toenails, quite honestly. <laughs> pair of brown. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, look, dad, I think that you could get a pair of brown shoes. Definitely. I think that would be, that would, we could take you to the store. Do you want us to take you to the store? You've got to have a good pair of shoes. I, I agree. So why don't you let, why don't you let Marge and I take you to the store and we can get you that good pair of shoes that you're asking for. What happened when you got there then? When I got there, when I bought my shoes, uh, I brought money with me. I tried on, you know, not too many pairs. It's not going to be too many pairs. You can try on one or two until you find one that's comfortable. We'll just, we'll, we'll have them measure your feet if that's what you want. What? <laughs> I said, they'll me- it's not something to be worried about. They'll measure your feet. They, they usually, they just take, uh, uh, they have a machine that does it. You know, they're not going to get down there and, and actually take a, a measuring stick to it or anything. See if these are any good. Mm-hmm. You, these are not shoes. These are <laughs> cans of tomato soup. You can't use these as sh- I mean, yes, you could put a strap on them and, and affix them to your feet, but they're not going to protect you from the elements the way that you want to, Dad. Would they? No. <laughs> yeah, they would technically, but you, they're, they don't have good arch support. You're not going to be able to use them. Come on, Dad. Let us take you to the store, please. You got to get out of the house. Not bad trim. You're stop looking at my wife, okay? <laughs> God, this is disgusting. Like, you know, I know. Ugh. Try these. You just handed me two bags of potato chips. <laughs> They're the same brand, the same flavor. Can I just open one? I, uh, you don't want me to open both bags, do you? Good. <laughs> Dad, you know we love coming over here and talking to you and visiting with you, but, um, you know, we're just worried you're not taking care of yourself. You know what I mean? Oh? Yeah. I mean, look at uh, this place is, a, is, you know, you haven't been keeping up with it. C- could we pay for someone to come over here and tidy up, you know, every once in a while? Mm. I, yeah, we would be willing We would be willing to do it. I know it hurts your pride, but but, you know, we have – Money set away for this, and I, I want to make sure that you're okay in your old age. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so you'll let me do it? You'll let me do it? I'll see what I can look out for you. Oh, what? Thank you, Dad. That's all I really want. I just want to make sure you're okay. You know, you took such good care of me. God, I'm getting emotional. You, you took such good care of me uh, – growing up and to see you like this is really uh, very emotional for me but I want to make sure that you're okay where are you going to go I'm going to go home and I'm going to make some calls and I'm going to get a maid service for you and we're going to clean this up don't worry would would you like to sleep here yeah I would dad that's so nice yeah we uh, uh, yeah that's great I would like to sleep here till you get yourself fixed up <laughs> I'm doing fine. We need to clean this place up, but yeah, we get yourself sorted out. <laughs> okay, now I feel like you're patronizing me. I thought it was a night. I thought you were just asking if we could do like what we used to do, a father and son sleepover party. But uh, now I feel like you're patronizing me for some reason. I'm just offering to help you. Here, the other rooms would would be no good to you. 
yeah, none of these rooms are good. This is this place is a fucking shithole, Dad. <laughs> there's a bed behind all that. Yeah, well, I, that's what I'm saying. Yes, there's a beautiful bed that we bought you, a California king, and you never sleep on it. It's, there's trash all over it. I picked it up, just keeping it here for the time being. Thought it might come in handy. Yes, a bed comes in handy every single night. No! Nancy. <laughs> Oh, uh, boy. That That's... reminded me of the scene you did at The Show's Not Funny when you oh. were off order. That was really good. Harold Pinter, not such a great choice for that game. <laughs> <laughs> he ah, just says, ah, okay. yes. Mm. <laughs> that was very funny. Very nice, very nice. Fun game. Fun game. Fun Thanks, game. Scott, for bringing the feature. Of course. Well, that's just about it for us uh, on this episode. We're uh, out and of on time. Earth. Yeah. <laughs> what if this never gets released because there's a nuclear war? That'd be cool. <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Be an alien and shit. Yeah. Man. So you think when we, we die, turn, we become yeah, aliens? We would turn into aliens. I'm a Scientologist. <laughs> oh, I did not know that. And our friendship is over. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Here's a little story I like to tell about three bad brothers you know so well. Bing, 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 b